The following video contains explicit language that may not be suitable for children or those who may be offended by it. With this being said, I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello, what is going on everybody? My name is Lane. Welcome back to Let's Talk. Today we're talking about Extreme Rules 2016 my predictions what i think is going to happen and what you can look forward to in this pay-per-view now extreme rules will kick off with a no disqualification match between baron corbin and dolph ziggler who do i think is going to win this match well i think baron corbin should win this because honestly i'm fucking sick of seeing baron corbin and dolph in the same damn ring together for like the 20th time it is becoming ridiculous and Baron Corbin is just kind of bleh I don't really see why he was moved to the main mo main monster main roster I don't even know why he was put to the main roster he just does not seem like he's ready for this and maybe Dolph is sort of like the experiment to see whether or not he can live up to this main roster position that he's being put in um, who do I think is going to win? I believe Baron Corbin should win this. And then that is for the kickoff show. I don't know what else is going to be off, be in the kickoff show. Who knows? Um, then starting it off is going to be Gallows versus Gallows versus Anderson. Gallows and Anderson versus the Usos in a Texas Tornado match. Um, honestly, I think Gallows and Anderson, sh Anderson should win this because... Honestly, they've been booked pretty weak these past couple weeks leading up to Extreme Rules. The Usos have been going over and over and over on them. And after the match, Gallus and Anderson will beat the crap out of them. It's just, it's, ah, uh, poor booking, WWE. Great job. Next up is the Asylum match between Dean Ambrose and Chris Jericho. I I see Dean winning this, but honestly, whenever some wrestler comes up with their own match, technically this is stolen from TNA, but who who sees that coming? Um, honestly, when a wrestler books their own match that is like, oh, this is my thing, they usually end up losing in it. Um, good example is Kane in the Inferno match. I believe he was the one who brought up the Inferno match, and in the ever for in the first ever Inferno match, I believe Kane lost. So I don't know. I want to see Dean win this. I think this would be another great win for him. And honestly, I think WWE is not booking Dean like he should be booked because right now he's just sort of he's in this weird little paradox where it's like. He's kind of in the Jake Roberts position, like he's he's a big enough star and a big enough face that you know people love him, and it doesn't matter what match you put him in, the people are going to be behind Dean Ambrose as the face. But he's also not quite in that position to hold a title because he doesn't really need it. He's kind of like over the title so much that he doesn't need to have it. And that's sort of the position that he's in. But people would love to see Dean actually be in like maybe the IC run or the WWE World Heavyweight title run, which I believe he should. He's earned that spot to be in. And then after that, um, and these are not in any particular order, by the way. I'm just reading them as I see them on the list right now. I'm just reading the matches. I don't know what order it's going to be in. So who knows? Uh, next is Kalisto versus Rusev for the U.S. Championship. Uh, the U.S. title, the way it's being booked is it's smart, but it still does not really hold any type of, yes, this is a title that all, all the superstars should be wanting to have. It's just kind of like a title that like the lower card superstars have pretty much and it's not even being made, being made a big deal but since Rusev is in there Rusev is great I love Rusev I think he's phenomenal and he should be getting a bigger push than what he is um, honestly I'd like to see Rusev run with this US title for like a year honestly 
Like, if he ran with it for a year, that would, I think that would bring up the relevance of the U.S. title a lot more. And also put John Cena in the scene, too, because me as a WWE fan and as sort of a critic, but not really because I don't get too in-depth. Um, you know, I'm just somebody who watches it and what and expects something, basically. Expect something that should happen and what WWE should do. Putting John Cena in the um, in the U.S. title run is great because John Cena is such a big name and he's such a big face that yes, having him in the U.S. title run is great. It's not like it's like oh fuck, here's John Cena coming to bury somebody or something like that. Like no, that's a pretty good fit and it also raises the bar of what the U.S. title means. So. I don't know. I think Rusev should win this. He deserves it. And I think he could bring the U.S. title back into the big picture. Next up, we have the New Day versus the VOD villains. Honestly, I don't have any type of set predictions or anything like that. But I would like, well, not like, I see the New Day winning this because the VOD villains, I don't think they're ready to hold the tag team championships. I don't think they're ready for that. And my big prediction, I think that Enzo Amore and Big Cass are going to come out during this match or in the beginning of this match, um, probably to mess with the Vaude Villains in some type of way. Because right now, I believe it's been about three, almost four weeks since the accident with Enzo and during payback. So I think he should be pretty much there on being clear to like be back in the scene and in the people's eyes. So I think my favorite prediction for this is Enzo returning during this match. Next up, we have The Miz versus Kevin Owens versus Cesaro versus Sami Zayn in a Fatal 4-Way IC title match. This match is probably the match I am most looking forward to. Um, because I honestly don't know who is going to win this because three out of the four guys are more than capable of running with this belt. And those three guys are Kevin Owens, Cesaro, and Sami Zayn. In my payback predictions video that I did a while back, I said that The Miz only brings the IFC title down. I still believe that now. He is, he's a transitional champion, basically. That's what he is. He's a great talker as far as instigating feuds. Um, but he's not a great champion and he's only an okay wrestler. Uh, he just, he doesn't need it. He doesn't deserve it, really. But Kevin Owens and Cesaro and Sami Zayn, I could definitely see running with this belt. And I honestly don't know who is going to to be winning this match um i was reading some article where it said the miz that's what their prediction was the miz was going to win this if he wins i don't know it's just i don't know i don't know i don't want Miz to win i want kevin owens to win this because i believe they could tell some type of story in this match between kevin owens and Sami Zayn, and that could end up leading to SummerSlam in an IC title match between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and that would be absolutely amazing. It'll probably be match of the night at SummerSlam, I guarantee it. Next up, we have Charlotte versus Natalia for the Women's Championship in a submission match, and there's no flair at ringside. No Ric Flair at ringside. No dirty old man tricks today, Flair. This match is going to be awesome it's probably the second match that i'm looking forward to even though i know charlotte's going to win this because natalia natalia's great she's paid her dues but i don't believe she's going to win this um i think in order for them to really say hey charlotte can be the women's champion and it's not just all fluke it's not just all rick doing it for her that they would let charlotte win this so my prediction is Charlotte wins this match, um, but I think it's going to be really difficult for her to win it. 
Uh, next up is actually the main event. Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles for the World Heavyweight Championship. And in an a Extreme Rules match. I know I kind of butchered all that. But in an Extreme Rules match. Um, obviously, Roman Reigns is going to win this. If AJ Styles ever won. Let me tell you this. If AJ Styles did by some way. And if Mr. McMahon was like, you know what? AJ Styles is going to win this match. If he ever said that, this would be insane. You know how Twitter is going to be blowing up. You know how much it's going to be blowing up with, oh my God, AJ Styles did it. The phenomenal one did it. He won the title. Even if it's just for a month, just for a month, that would be amazing. And that, and that would actually solidify the thing that people were fearing is that yeah, they're bringing in all these TNA guys and uh, people from Japan and stuff, but they're not going to give them the title because it's like, oh, you know, I'm not going to let a TNA guy come in here and win the WWE title. Like, what the hell? That would break all those rumors and it would say, yes, just because you're from a different promotion and you've never been in WWE before, it does not mean we're not going to give you what the people want to see you have. So, I don't know. If AJ Styles won, it would be absolutely amazing. People would just be flipping their shit. It would be awesome. But honestly, realistically, Roman Reigns is going to win this by some type of fluke. Who knows? Maybe Finn Balor shows up. Who knows? Maybe Bullet Club turns on him. I forgot what the hell they called Bullet Club now. I think they call him just the club, I guess. I don't know. But... I don't know. We'll see what happens. But my prediction, obviously, is Roman Reigns is going to win this by some some way. Who knows? I don't know. And that's about it for this whole card. <laughs> I don't know why I went blank for the for a second. This that's pretty much up for this whole card. Um, there's an additional possibility of Dana Brooke versus Becky Lynch. Um, who knows? Maybe that maybe that match will happen. Maybe it won't. It's just a possibility at this point. Um, but if it did happen, I could see it happening during the kickoff show. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below what your predictions are for Extreme Rules 2016. And with that being said, I hope you all have a gorgeous day and take it easy.